Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is Team Game Thursday commentary time. This matchup is going to be between A-Run as our Red Terran player and then the Blue Terran player, GT's Absentees. I'm going to call them Absentees. So Double Terran Team versus Wolf as our Purple Protoss player and the Teal Protoss player, Sun Style. So Double Protoss versus Double Terran, Masters Level 2v2 commentaries. Woo, excited. Very, very excited. How's everyone doing? Great. Uh, lots of team games today, so that's been fun. Also, just recorded the Diablo podcast. And once more, if you guys have Masters Level uh, team replays and you would like them commentated, please send them to me at force at forestrategygaming.com. But let's get right into this. Sun Style dropping the pylon at the front of his base, and we are going to see actually uh, Absentees move forward for a supply depot as well as Aaron. So both players dropping a depot at the front of their ramp, um, maybe possibly trying to hide some tech. This is overall typically a bad decision against uh, Protoss opponents, and given that they're against double Protoss opponents, that's scary. Sun Style will be moving on in with the scout, and uh, what league are you guys in? This is our first placement match. Bad manners, absentees. Uh, this is something that you'll see players do uh, from time to time. Look, I make carriers. This is something you'll see players do from time to time, and a lot of times it's kind of a distraction tactic. Like, I know for a fact this is a Masters level uh, team replay, uh, so people just say things, essentially. Yeah, uh, they were favored. How are we favored? We're not even ranked. Yeah, so clearly... Clearly just talking out their arse. But yes, anyways, that's uh, that's funny. Actually, I find it really annoying when people do that. People uh, just trying to distract you at the beginning of the game. It usually means they're doing something fishy. And with that said, Absentees right now at 14 supply, no refinery. Back over here, we do have a refinery, though, for Aaron. So Aaron uh, deciding to drop his. So he's looking a little more standard, although that was late. That was certainly a little late. And typically a little bit of pro press going on, though, stopping the production here of this Rax. Um, so unfortunately, not not getting that as quick as he really should. But yeah, either way, back over here, let's take a look. Sun Styles gateway is just about in. How's the other Protoss player doing? His gateway just about in. Of course, we'll be seeing uh, both of those cores getting dropped. What was that? <laughs> the refinery getting canceled. So both players, um, I, I'm expecting I'm expecting some cheese here, my friends. There looks to be some cheese. The wall off. Indicative of hiding something. No refineries. Indicative of, well, early mineral heavy build. They're either both fast expanding or they're going to do something absurd. So we'll have to keep an eye on them. But back over here, Wolf, he does have his second assimilator coming on through. Notably, before that, Cybernex Core finishes. It looks like Sunstyle not doing the same. He will be going a more mineral heavy. This will allow him to get a little bit of a stronger early Zealot Stalker Force or possibly even go for some sort of a fast expand build. Now, we do have a second gateway coming on through. Um, looks like Wolf doesn't have that though what's his next build and placement there is another pylon are we going to be seeing a robotics or possibly even five barracks where is this oh absentees absentees five six racks will be six racks marine production just churn them churning them out and uh looks like we may be seeing the same apparently didn't like the placement prior to that and here comes a couple racks as well so both terran players just going mass marine early game and this is the kind of thing that you just unfortunately see a lot of especially in higher level games it's a higher level masters well, well supply or preparing for a possible supply block there's no reason to come down with three depots at once like that that's that's just bad play right there but <laughs> anyways sorry to be a kind of a jerk but you, you shouldn't do that um anyways so what is what is going on well we basically this is just what happens in in these team games you just see so much cheese i hate to say it but the high level team games are cheese filled they are filled with cheese it's like a hot pocket a cheese hot pocket that was that was really bad we do have a box coming out right now so we will of course have to keep an eye on the Del Protoss team, they're scouting information. Now, we do have a uh, probe hidden over here, possibly to drop a proxy pylon. The other reason, of course, is to check when and if those expansions come down. Uh, but as we can tell, we're going to be seeing a huge mass marine push. Now, it does look like Aaron lifting off that Rax. Uh, he did have some guy spawn on the wrong side there. Um, but yeah, we'll be seeing a massive, massive marine push. And this is just, this happens a lot. Now, something I will say, though. They seem to be a little bit late. If you're going mass marine like this, you really got to try to be hitting before six minutes, in all honesty. And I'll tell you why. Look at this. We've got the robotics up, the bay coming on through. There, There's Colossus coming 
right around the corner, basically. Uh, Wolf does will be sitting on three gateways, Robonics, and trying to turn out Colossus. That is actually a bit much, I believe. A uh, two gate is what you can really support with Colossus turning out as well. Now back over here, it looks like there is a four gate coming through. Also, the level one armor upgrade. Now these mass marines, um, this can be effective. And actually, wow, it looks like Avron did lift them off to make those uh, reinforcements a little bit quicker. But I uh, I don't know if this is going to be in time. These mass marine, this mass marine push once more. It was not going to be nearly as effective uh, at this stage in the game. If of course, if he does see this bay. And he this Robox facility, he can try to target fire it down. We have both A run and Absentees inside of the main base. We do have uh, Sunstyle trying to move forward to help out his buddy right now. A couple of nicely placed force fields will allow those elves to catch up. Nowhere near stim or combat shield or anything because they both are so uh, mineral heavy at this stage in the game, not getting any refineries. So, yeah, there you have it. Now, Marines will be pushing forward, trying to engage these elves. They do want to try to micro away from these elves if at all possible. Stalkers trying to soften up those Marines and micro back. The Stalkers are quicker right now. Now, we've got that Colossus. It is very close to finish. Are these Marines wise enough? Are these Terran players wise enough to target fire this down? I am not certain. It looks like, yes, the blue player will be trying to target down their box facility. Will he get in time? This is going to be very close it looks like he will it doesn't look like oh poor colossus doesn't make it out in time so the mass marines for the blue player absentees target fire him down we've got a couple of bunker placement as well looks like the red player a1 a run will be trying to push on sun style right now just kind of dancing back and forth trying to get these bunkers up we do have the zealots who we target firing down those scvs and trying to allow those marines to get in oh no is he gonna finish it doesn't look like it the zealots actually wow he just stopped producing in anticipation of getting target fired so right now uh, officially the zealots have uh, delayed these bunkers from being produced but there are enough marines right now to actually take out the rest of those zealots now back over here what is going on we do have the robox bay is still in uh, he hasn't remade that robox facility the last marine getting mopped up still consistent stream here do we have any sort of a transition plan uh doesn't look like it just keeping up this mass marine churning them out he hopefully will get a well not hopefully i'm not i don't know i, I <laughs> super cheese really kind of frustrates me i much prefer a macro game but in all honesty uh, big props going out to the double protoss team so far they're still in the game they haven't lost it yet Sentries will be crucial here, though. I mean, a couple of force fields is enough to prevent this from really doing any damage. There's a nice force field. Zealots catching up now. Unfortunately, though, with the Marines on the low ground, this is actually enough DPS to target fire those Zealots down. Uh, so they weren't able to actually work as to quite effectively as they could have. But what I was going to say is that some nicely placed force fields can prevent them from even getting up there. Now, Heavy Stalker will be very strong against nothing but Marines. He does want to try to avoid those bunkers, but these Stalkers overall will pretty much tear through Marines. We are continuously seeing a constant stream come down right now look at these stalkers just no fear at all in engaging this heavy amount of marines they really it doesn't it's not bothersome at all because as mentioned stalkers very very strong against these marines unless there was a switch to marauders uh, going heavy stalker will be very wise now we do have a box facility coming out so wolf trying to rebuild that thermal lance also coming out for one he does try to remake those colossus as long as he can prevent these marines from pushing back into his base looks like they will be trying to move on in though these bunkers uh two of them have been completed we've got a third trying to come on through as well zealots do want to push up uh just please just force field your ramp and you're fine you got nothing there we go um so force fielding his ramp preventing those marines from pushing in any further stalkers trying to regroup right now i've got a couple of zealots moving on down as well that thermal lance just about finished he's got enough resources so hopefully we see that first colossus um, yeah, that, that would be really nice, obviously. So he does want to come out that Colossus. Obviously, now is the time. There we go. Colossus coming on through. Hopefully, we do see some Chrono Boost go down, go down on there as well. A couple of Marines trying to poke up. At the same time, we do have an attempt to push, but a couple of cannons here for Sun Style. will help delay that. And again, once more with those nice force fields. Sentries probably would be better suited right here. I believe they'll still be able to nail that force field. And they're really in danger in this position. So it needs to be careful. The red player, Aaron, looks to be making a push. We do have absentees starting to work his way up into an expansion. I'm really surprised that they haven't prepared a transition because they cannot stick on these Marines forever. We're pushing the 12-minute mark in-game. And, and this is really the point of the game where this mass Marine tactic is not nearly as effective. That first Colossus uh, will be out very soon. Marines pushing forward right now. Look at that interesting pylon spread right there. Stock moving forward to engage should pull back though just wait until that colossus comes into play all right now keep that colossus at bay please don't get targeted there and there there we go micro back right now uh, the stalkers getting target fired down uh, by those blue marines there red marines moving forward trying to charge and target fire down this colossus he needs to just walk down that path and he is all set please keep walking keep walking stalkers engaging at low health though we'll be turning around with that colossus taking advantage of that thermal lance trying to work through the marines doing quite a bit of damage though to the probe count good job there by wolf pulling back those probes stalkers move forward to engage we've got a lot of zealots a couple sentries over here for Sun Style as well. Moving forward into Wolf's base to try to assist them. Still constantly churning out those Marines, but things are getting 
progressively worse right now for this double Terran team. We do have some refineries finally coming into play over here for Absentees. Looks like Aaron working on his refinery as well. He should try to come up with an expansion. Continuously streaming those Marines in. Now that this cannon is up, though, those Marines, of course, will have a much harder time. A couple of sentries. Zealots here in play as well, and they have got charge. Charge Zealots plus unupgraded Marines equals GG. That is not good at all. Charge Zealots, Colossus, Stalkers, and Sentries pushing forward. And the double Terran team looks to be in trouble. And that's what you get for being a cheeser. Absentees calling the GG. A run leaves the game. Good game. Good game, guys. Thank you so much for watching this team commentary. As always, if you have a Masters level team game, send them to me at 4staff4strategygaming.com. I will be doing this every Thursday, commentating some high-level team games. As mentioned at the beginning, this is very prevalent cheese you see a lot of in the higher-level team games, I'm sure, as well. You see it a lot in the lower level. Just get used to it. Learn how to defend against it. Uh, you know, we saw both Sunstyle and Wolf do a good job. Nicely placed force fields, cannons, go stalker heavy if they're going mass zealots. It's just a perfect example of how to counteract what we saw specifically here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this commentary. As always, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.